Let's get a couple of uh, voices from dealing room as well. Amrish Baliga now joins in from Edelweiss. Amrish, hi, afternoon. Uh, uh, what's, what's happening? I mean, uh, quite clearly the market has gone past the panic stage. Uh, is this complete capitulation that's now taking place? The Nifty is down 2.5% now. Yeah, to a certain extent you can say it's capitulation and uh, this is what I've been saying for a while. But, uh, clearly the market is headed lower but uh, we're not sure whether it will be a painful slow movement or whether we, I mean, we would have a panic uh, uh, like uh, situation like what we are seeing today. So, I mean, clearly uh, now since the markets have come to these levels, the way I see it is uh, possibly we should take some support uh, between 5500 to 5550 levels. I think in that region there should be some support hmm. and we could see a temporary sort of a bounce back. But overall, I, I still expect the mood to be, uh, I mean, quite, uh, uh, I mean, cautious to bearish. I don't see people really coming in to start investing fresh at this point of time, despite, I mean, uh, the valuations, uh, I mean, being, uh, I mean, uh, like, uh, more or less the lowest in the last uh, four years. But still, I don't think people would start investing at this point of time. Okay. Amrish, uh, do you think that sentiment is currently just dominated by what's happening on the rupee or is there something more that the market is, uh, is see, reacting I mean, to? Basically, it's the rupee and at the same time, uh, you're, you're also hearing of defaults across. You, I mean, we also have had a number of, uh, I mean, well-known companies uh, really, uh, I mean, coming down quite sharply uh, by, say, 60, 70, 80 percent. I mean, I'm just giving you examples of Gitanjali and uh, Financial Technologies and MCX. Mm -hmm. When such things happen, uh, I mean, clearly uh, that uh, trust deficit actually comes into play and uh, people just don't want to believe or trust any management and uh, invest at this point of time. What's happening with Tata Power today, Amrish, reacted very violently on the downside to its numbers? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, more to do with the numbers and I, I think uh, it's the uh, like overall sentiment where the, when, even if you have a slight disappointment, uh, there is uh, like overreaction. All right, Amrish, thanks a lot for that quick take. Yes, Tata Power is sliding as is the market actually now approaching a 500 point fall.